we're going to look at how to do a Denadi suture, which is also called a vertical mattress suture. We're going to start with the same equipment and position as with all other sutures, um, as you can see in the simple interrupted video. We're going to start by inverting the skin as well, but instead of starting at about, let's say, half a centimeter, we're going to go and start a little bit further away from the wound edge. So we're going to go in here, put it through, come out over here, and take the needle through. And it's important to have some more distance because we are going to go um, back on our tracks and you'll see what will happen uh, in just a bit and why it's important to have that kind of distance over here. And now we're going to go out at the same distance. So actually we're just doing a simple interrupted suture right now, but we're going to do an extra step at the end. And that's going to make our Donati or uh, vertical mattress suture special and a little bit different. So this is our position that we were at with a normal interrupted suture. And now instead of going, putting our needle in forehand, which is this position, and I'm left-handed, so for the right-handed people it's just mirrored on the other side, but this is my medial side over here. Now for going to uh, backhand, we need to rotate our needle 180 degrees like this, putting our needle into backhand and pointing the needle to the lateral side. So instead of the needle pointing to my medial side over here, we rotate it so that it's pointing to the lateral side. And then it's in a backhand position. So to be clear, this is forehand and this is backhand. This is backhand. So now we're going to do another simple suture, but between the legs that we already have. So this is our long leg, this is our short leg, and we're just going to do a simple interrupted suture between those two. So go in over here and out at the opposite side. And you can do this in one go or in two goes. Um, most people will teach you to go in two goes, but once you're a bit fluid in it, it's easier to do it in one go. And the important thing is that you have two levels of suture here over here. So I'm going to try and show you. The first one went deep and far, which is the one over here. And the last one is superficial and close. So the first one starts over here, goes deep, stays deep and comes out far. Then the next one is a little bit closer to the wound edge, more superficial and stays close to the wound edge. Now we can do our knots. So instead of knotting over the wound, we're now going to knot at the um, median side of the wound, so next to the wound. And it's the same principle as with the simple interrupted, we're going to go away from us, one, two, grasp the short end, switch sides so that we get a flat knot, and now you can really put tension in it because the Donati suture really needs some tension. On the sponge it's hard to put a lot of tension on it, but you really want the wound to be approximated the tension to be on the suture and not on the wound edge. So that's the goal of the knotting. So first we did two away from us, so now one towards us. Switch sides and pull tight. And then one again away from us. There we go. And now we just have to cut the ends. Pull them up. Use our mayo scissors and cut it. So that's our Denati suture.